All right, guys, and welcome back to more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We are on case five still, day three of case five, I should say, and it's looking to be like a pretty long case. I I tried to beat it in like a couple of days, but I was getting like oh, so many interruptions. But hopefully, we'll see how far we can get today. February 24th, 9.41 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. So what do you think, Mr. Wright? I think the prosecution is as confused as we are. After all, the victim was murdered in two different places at the same time. Whoa, Lana. And a different suspect was arrested at the other crime scene. Lana! Good morning, Mr. Wright. I apologize for yesterday. I was indisposed. I hope they didn't hold you too long for questioning. We just finished, actually. I'm used to all-nighters, though. I'm used to staying up all night to get lucky. Really? So how'd it go? I didn't get lucky. <laughs> it's as Mr. Wright suspects. The police are clueless. I figured as much, so I struck a plea bargain. A plea bargain? What do you mean by that? If we agreed that if I told them the truth behind this simultaneous murder, they wouldn't seek capital punishment. That's what I mean, Emma. But Lana! I know her name is Lana, but Lana, Lana, Lana. Who can tell me? Don't tell me you! Much to my regret, I'm as much in the dark about this as they are. Miss Sky. Hmm? We discovered traces left by a certain person in the police department's evidence room. They belong to Officer Jake Marshall. <gasps> you found Officer Marshall's traces? Bloodstained fingerprints, to be exact. That's the trump card I have up my sleeve today. You do understand what this means, don't you? In order to defend my sister, you're going to accuse Mr. Marshall. We have to play the cards we're dealt. Isn't that right, Miss Sky? Do what you have to do, Mr. Wright. Do what you gotta do. And watch my shoes, yeah. February 24th. 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 9, not 1, not 2, not 3, not 4, not 5, not 6, not 7, not 8, not 10, but 9. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He's gonna say it. Gavel. Ah, I told you he's gonna say it. Court, <laughs> court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, the prosecution is... Huh. Hmm? I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach criminal affairs from the prosecutor's office. The victim, Bruce Goodman, was slain at both places at the same time. But that's not physically possible, is it? What's more, I, I hear the victim from the evidence room just disappeared. Yes, and the body eventually reappeared in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Wow, this is one messed up trial. What are my duties as prosecutors to present impartial evidence? Today I will present evidence relating to the murder at the police department. In so doing, I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Now that's what sets Mr. Edgeworth apart. He sounds so on top of things. Yeah. Sounds like you like him on top, huh, Emma? And that's supposed to be an admirable, admirable trait, excuse me? Gavel! Very well, let the trial resume. On the day of the crime, what exactly transpired at the police department? Mr. Edgeworth, you may call your first witness of the day to the stand. For its first, for its first witness, the prosecution calls the suspect of the murder that occurred at the police department. The suspect? You mean the so-called murderer? Oh my god, oh my god, is a murderer in the courtroom? Oh no, oh no! Things are getting wild from the get-go. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Uh, chin stroke. Will the witness please state his name in occupation? Yes, sir, I am Officer Mike Meekins. His first name is Mike? Okay, my occupation is, um, that would be murder, sir. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, so you're telling us you're a professional killer. Sir, it was me, sir. I'm the one who did it, sir. I'll never kill anyone again, sir. You gotta believe me, sir. Uh, actually... What we like to hear from you is, Sir, I, I want you to call part of the younger generation, sir. A person whose actions adults can't possibly comprehend. Please, Mr. Edgeworth, sir, help me. <laughs> help me, sir. Officer Meekins. Yes, sir. Give us your report of the crime. 
Consider that an order. Yes, sir. As you wish. After all, I'm part of a generation that must be told what to do, sir. You can't fault him for a lack of enthusiasm. <laughs> Crime report, sir. Witness testimony. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the evidence from that day. I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. I was only doing what I was trying to do, sir. I was suddenly attacked. I fought for my life. Then I... I did it! <laughs> After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. Sob. Hmm. So the victim, Detective Goodman, attacked you? Do unto others before they do unto you! That's what the Meekins family model, sir. That's the Meekins family model. I see. Then you fainted and a colleague helped you regain consciousness. Yes, sir. He knocked me upside the head, sir. Very well. The defense may begin this cross-examination. What I need here is more info to work with. So he's basically giving us a hint, a hint to pretty much press the witness. Although it's not my normal duty, I was assigned to guard the da 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 press. Mr. Meekins, you work in the General Affairs Department, do you not? Yes, sir. I'm in charge of hiring new recruits. Nice. Now, that is a scary thought. Evidence transfer were, uh, was taking place on the day of the crime, which meant many officers were given special tasks not ordinarily performed. Okay. I was in charge of guarding the Blue Badger, sir. The Blue Badger? Yes, sir. The lovely police mascot created by the head detective. The blue badger. I was sure to ensure or I was to ensure it wasn't broken during the transferal process. That was my sole mission for the day. Who told him to do that? Gumshoe? I'm gonna guess Gumshoe told him to do that. I see. Sounds like a very uh important mission. After the award ceremony finished that day, there was so many people around that I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. Okay, so that's why you went to the evidence room. Tell us, what did you see when you got there? I spotted a suspicious man on the security screen and rushed into the room. Alright, so let's go ahead and press. Hold it! I love doing that. In order to enter the evidence room, you need an ID card, am I correct? Precisely, sir! I have one right here around my neck! So then... Your ID number should be listed in here, right? Huh. So, Edward, Bruce Goodman. There it is, I found it! This is the one right here. Could you possibly read us the number? Yes, sir, it's 4989596. That's my number, sir. I see, huh? But that number... is shown as being used twice. Huh, who's the first guy that walked in there at 420? 7777777. If he was knocked out. Huh. Huh, that is interesting. This is interesting information. Let's see what else happens. It's shown as being used twice. Please explain, witness. It's no, it's no real mystery, sir. The first time is when I relocated the blue badger to the evidence room. And the second time is when I went to go get him after everything settled down. Okay. I see. So it was during that second time when... Yes, sir. That's when I spotted the man on the security screen. Okay. ID card record has been updated. I was only doing what I was trying to do, sir. I was certainly attacked. Hold it. Let's press him on every statement. So you were attacked. Can you please tell us exactly what happened to you? It was a knife, sir. A knife! Detective Goodman pulled a knife on you. What happened next, young boy? Well, with me charging in on him like that, he looked as surprised as I was. You aren't exactly the kind of person someone would want to run into. That's when I reacted, sir. I swung my arms like an octopus, struggling to detain him. That's how I got this gash on my hand. Maybe if you just kept your cool, your hand wouldn't be... When I saw the blood trickling down my arm, I panicked. I grabbed the man by his collar. I fought for my life, then I, I did it! I did it! Uh, I dropped the screw in the tuna! What exactly do you mean when you, when you said you did it? 
I know I didn't look the type, but I'm really into kung fu films, sir. The man let his guard down for just an instant, so I snatched his knife. You took his knife? I spun him around and performed a disarming maneuver. I made sure to close my eyes like a man. Oh, uh, I see. He must have been desperate. The next thing I knew, his white coat was drenched in a sea of blood. And then... Then the next thing I knew... Yes? He punched me right in my face, sir! <laughs> he punched me really good in the face. After that, I passed out until another officer smacked me awake. Hold it, bruh! Uh, what about the... About what time did you regain consciousness? No offense, sir, but how am I supposed to know that? I was unconscious. Oh, right. According to the report from the officer that woke up the witness, it was about 5.30. He hit me right in the head, too. I woke up crying tears of pain. Chocolate pain. I mean, uh, it's nice that you recovered, that is. <laughs> when I came around, though, I made sure to finish my mission. Your mission? Yes, sir, the blue badger, sir. I returned him to the entrance before things got out of hand. Well, we can all rest easily now. Gavel! I believe we now have a fairly accurate picture of what happened. Only one thing remains unclear. Was this man... Or, excuse me, was the man this officer murdered really the victim? Scatter point. Hmm, um... Officer Meekins? With regard to that, sir... Take a look at this. It was sent to my cell. Chief Gant delivered it to me just this morning, sir. The chief? Why would he do that? Delivered it? What is that? A videotape? Yes, sir. That's absolutely right, sir. A videotape, sir. It contains footage from the security camera in the evidence room. Nice. Can we look at it? Objection. But what? But I specifically asked if there was such... Excuse me. I specifically asked if there was such a tape. I still butchered that word. And was told it had been mistakenly erased. That's quite a mistake. I just do what I'm told, sir. It's the only thing I'm really good at. It's like communication with the police department is as good as ever. Gavo! Well then, let's have a look, shall we? Show us the video of the murdering the or of you ver blah, 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 blah. show us the video of you murdering the victim. Excuse me, oh my goodness. Please stop using that word murder, sir. It scares me. A video of a real murder. Just what are we getting ourselves into? This is gonna be scary. I don't want I don't like looking at people die. I don't see anything suspicious at all. So a man walked by, a man walked by, a man walked by. Alright, paper fell. Officer Minkins in 3D, son! Oh! Oh! Minkins, he got bodied. Minkins got bodied. I don't know who that was, but Minkins got bodied. Really? Bad. I don't see Meekins murdering anybody. Meekins the one who freaking got bodied. Well, I believe we're all thinking the same thing. How can we deal with these unsettling feelings stirred within us? What the hell was this wriggling piece of plywood? Hmm. <laughs> Sir, that is the pride and joy of the entire criminal affairs department. It was a blue badger, sir. Why am I not surprised this isn't going smoothly? Security video to uh, video added to the court record. Yes, well, anyway, this tape seems to prove that the witness did indeed encounter er, somebody. In the evidence room in some sort of er, activity. Ah, damn it, your honor. Instead of relying on clearly incomplete footage, the witness's testimony will suffice. Is that all right with you, Officer Meekins? Yes, sir. As you wish, sir. What? Is it <laughs> Mystery Man? His face can't be clearly seen in the video, but there's no question that the other person was Detective Goodman, sir. I mean, he opened a locker which required Detective Goodman's fingerprint to do. 
The locker had, or excuse me, the locker he opened is unquestionably Detective Goodman's locker, sir. So it must be him. No one else could have unlocked it. No one else could have unlocked it, huh? What's this about fingerprint? Each detective has been given a locker equipped with a fingerprint activated lock. These locks ensure that each locker can be opened by the detective it belongs to. Intriguing. That would mean the victim at the crime scene would have to have been Detective Goodman. Very well. The defense may begin its cross examination. I don't know where this cross examination or cross examination will lead, but everything begins with contradictions. That's why I have to start. Mystery man! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Cross examination time. Let's press him. Let's press him. Tell me, were you able to get a good look at him? At the face of the man who attacked you with the knife. Sir, if you must label people as having seen or not seen the man's face, I believe I will be classified as the latter. The latter, but you were standing right in front of him, were you not? More to the point, you are the person who fought him, aren't you? Yes, sir, but I didn't get a clear look at his face, sir. I'm not the kind of guy who looks directly at people when talking with him. And then at the end of his statement, he says, it had to be Mr. Goodman. Contradiction, because you just said that you didn't look at him. How could you tell if it was Mr. Goodman? Still, I'm, I'm sure it was him. I bet my badge on it. <clears throat> So let's um let's see what happens when we press him on his last statement. I had a yawn there. However, the most important detail is not shown in the video. The man's face, sir. If I may say something, sir, please do. After all, you are the one being examined. I don't understand why the man's face is so important in this case, sir. I mean, it was his hand that opened the fingerprint lock. And it was his hand that tried to thrust his knife into my body, sir. My unsettled state can testify enough to this, sir. <laughs> you have a point. The footage doesn't lie. That is. Unless the defense can find a problem with it. Mr. Wright, let's check the court record again. Is there a problem with the security record? The security record? But, but, but can we check the video out anytime? Look at this, Marshall's Prince. Look at it. Look at this. We got a mountain of evidence. It's ridiculousness. Can we check it? Oh, we can. Whoa! Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? It looks like it was already open. Like you see how all the other lockers. Yo, that locker was already open. Did you see that? Hold on, let's go back. Now watch this. Look at the light. It just turns on. Alright, it's already on. So that means it's already open, right? That's the only thing I can say. So the locker was already open. And I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Meekins think he bad. Look, he, he think he bad. He think he bad. So he tried to bust the move. Got slashed. Boom. Bodied. Bodied. That's the only thing I can... Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? Whenever he played there, whenever he played, there was paper in that locker. Did you see that? Did you see that? Did y'all just see what I see? Now that paper's not there. We're gonna sit here a little bit more longer and see, watch this. This paper falls out. We go straight back to the left side. There's no paper there. Look at that. But when the guy goes past again, when the guy goes past again, that locker, whoa, he was bleeding to death. Look at that. Meekins is bodied, and then look at this. The paper is right there in there, and then it restarts, and you can clearly see there's no paper right there. Wow. So you know what? There is a problem. There's two problems I see. Regarding the video contained on this tape, 
There is one thing in particular that seems rather strange. This contradiction leads to the possibility that... The man may not be Detective Goodman. What? This video contains such a contradiction? Interesting. Your Honor, I have a proposal. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I propose we have the defense point out to us this alleged contradiction in the video. He would want me to point it out. Very well, proposal accepted. Let us further inspect this piece of evidence. Next time on Phoenix Wright, what will happen in this video? Is Sir Lionheart deduction correct? We will find out next time on Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney.